Hi, uh, yet another video from Brighter Choice. Uh, this one is just to give you some examples of door configurations. Um, there are actually a lot of things to consider with how you want your doors to open. And again, a lot of it depends on your property, uh, your view, what you can and can't do, how you plan to use the doors. And again, uh, it's actually more complicated than it first sounds. So this is a, an example of a, uh, this is a three pane system. And this is with odd numbers as a three pane, a five pane, a seven pane. They're very popular odd numbers, and the reason for that is because you have what's classed as a lead traffic door as part of the system. So as an example, this set of doors with a free pane have a lead traffic door, which enables to open back and all the doors stack one way. It doesn't matter whether they're stacking to the left or the right in terms of uh, how you have them, but it just helps. I'm just going to show you. So this first traffic door, which I open the lever handle, um, will go back onto a magnetic catch. I don't know if you just are able to follow me here. So. The door will go out onto a magnetic catch, which sits nice and neatly. If you want to come round this side and look up into it. Okay, so this is probably how we tend to use the doors most of the year with the UK uh, weather system. Um, and the reason for that is because nice and tight, nice and secure, doesn't matter how breezy it is, the doors are staying in situation. However, when we want to open the rest of the doors, if you follow me back through, uh, what we will then do is we will, using the shoe bow handle, open the second and third door, which work with concertina as a pair of doors. Remember, as you'll see in a lot of our videos, never use the shoe bow handle for the opening and closing. So this set of doors will then open, slide neatly across. This set of doors, by the way, are about three years old, so it gives you an idea of how they perform over time and neatly out of the way. And now they protrude at a 90 degree angle by whatever the width of each panel. So in this instance, these doors are about a metre per panel and they now stack neatly out of the way. And that's how it will work in terms of a, a, an odd number set of doors, um, all stack in with a traffic door. Now, I'm gonna need you guys uh, watching this to use your imagination for the next configuration option. So if you wanna come back in, Now, if, for example, this had been a four pane um, with a traffic door, you can have them split free going one way, as we've shown here, but you would have a fourth door, using this imagination of our spot, which will sit here, and it would actually, the door would open and swing out, but it would, in, it would swing until something stops it. So depending on how you have your, set, your door set and how far back and what's to the outside, that door will kind of swing around like a typical French door in effect until something stops it. So there's lots of things. Now, if you went though for a four pane, all opening one way, either left or right, because of the way they work as a concertina of pairs, you'd have two pairs, if that makes sense, um, there's nowhere for an external lever handle. So what that means is you wouldn't be able to lock or unlock the doors from the outside, only from the inside. Now, again, that depends on whether you've got another access door close by, which a lot of homes have, and therefore external access isn't required. But if it is, it starts to rule in and rule out some of the configuration choices. On our website, there's further information about this. There's configuration diagrams, but we thought it might be helpful just to get an understanding from the outset as to how the doors work and some of the most common options uh, available for you. Hope this helps. Thank you.